Hi children, today's story is On the Way Home by Jill Murphy. Claire had a bad knee, so she set off home to tell her mum all about it. On the way home, Claire met her friend Abigail. Look at my bad knee, said Claire. How did you do that? asked Abigail. Well, said Claire, there was a very big bad wolf and he came sneaking up behind me and as I passed by and it tried to take, take me home for its tea. But I screamed for help and a woodcutter came and chased the wolf away and the wolf dropped me and that's how I got my bad knee. Gosh, said Abigail. Then Claire met her friend Paul. Look at my bad knee, said Claire. How did you do that, asked Paul. Well, said Claire, there was a fast flying saucer and it came zooming out of the sky and tried to carry me off in a distant plane. But I struggled free just in time and fell crashing to the earth far below. And that's how I got my bad knee. Goodness gracious me, gasped Paul. Then Claire met her friend Amrit. Look at my bad knee, said Claire. How did you do it? asked Amrit. Well, said Claire, there was a huge hungry caterpillar and it came lumbering out of the canal as I passed by and it tried to pull me into the water. But I crammed a piece of wood between its jaws and it was so cross that it knocked me over with its tail and that is how I got my bad knee. How dreadful, said Amrit. Then Claire met her friend Robert. Look at my bad knee, said Claire. How did you do it? asked Robert. Well, said Claire, there was a big fat snake and it came slithering out of the tree and wrapped itself around me and it squeezed and squashed but I tickled it un until it couldn't stop laughing and it dropped me and that's how I got my bad knee. I say, gasped Robert. Then Claire met her friend Samantha. Look at my bad knee, said Claire. How did you do it, asked Samantha. Well, said Claire, there was an enormous dragon and it came soaring out of the clouds and picked me up in its claws. But I gave it such a big kick that it dropped me and I fell for miles and miles through the air. And that's how I got my bad knee. Cool, cried Samantha. Then Claire met her friend Nick. Look at my bad knee, said Claire. How did you do it, said Nick. Well, said Claire, there was a great hairy gorilla and it came creeping out of a garage as I passed by and it tried to drag me away. But I stomped on its toe so hard that it let me fall to the ground with a bump. And that's how I got my bad knee. And I didn't cry. Crumbs, said Nick. Then Claire met her friend Celia. Look at my bad knee, said Claire. How did you do it? asked Clelia. Well, Claire, there was a gigantic giant and he came stomping through the houses and he picked me up and said, Fee, fi, fo, fum. A tasty girl for my hungry tum. But I punched him on the nose so hard that he let me fall and that's how I got my bad knee. Well, never, exclaimed Celia. Then Claire met her friend Jonathan. Look at my bad knee, said Claire. 
How did you do it? asked Jonathan. Well, said Claire, there was a ghostly ghost and it came gliding out of a gloomy graveyard as I passed by and it went woo. But I ran away so fast that I felt it left behind and then I tripped over and that's how I got my bad knee. Wow, said Jonathan. Then Claire met her friend Hannah. Look at my bad knee, said Claire. How did you do it, asked Hannah. Well, said Claire, there was a wicked old witch and she came swooping down from the rooftops and bundled me into her shopping bag. But I broke the bag with my feet and dived out into the open, hard pavement. And that's how I got my bad knee. Dear me, exclaimed Hannah. Claire arrived home and her mum came out. Look at my bad knee, said Claire. How did you do it? asked her mum. Well, said Claire, I was playing in the playground and I was having such a nice time on a swing when suddenly, suddenly, I fell off. Claire burst into tears. Never mind, said her mum. Come inside and we'll put a plaster on it. A very big plaster, asked Claire. The biggest in the whole box, said her mum. I hope you enjoyed that story, children, and I will look forward to reading one to you tomorrow. See you soon. Bye.